This is Paul at Focus Pulling, and the objective of this video is mainly just to show you properly exposed and well shot footage using the new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. There's already a ton of content about the 6K version, comparing with the 4K version, reciting the specs over and over, but what's left to show you by now is formal cinematography. I'll be casually commenting on each of these 5 second clips, but if you turn the sound off, you'll still see a box at the bottom left, always showing you the current resolution, frame rate, lens focal length, and magnification or crop. For this shoot, I'm running around Manhattan after picking up the camera from B&H on its release day, paired with only a 12mm and 85mm prime lens. And our first stop is a couple of blocks away at the new Hudson Yards development, with this staircase sculpture called The Vessel. Critics are right, it's sort of a billionaire's stairway to nowhere, but I like how it puts 6K resolution to the test. And I've grabbed a high quality TIFF here to take a closer look. Here's a thousand percent, which is way too far, but if we pull back to 320%, that's cropping the equivalent of a standard HD frame inside of the 6K frame. Now we're walking south on New York's elevated High Line, and this is a good spot to mention that I'm generally shooting handheld everywhere, and in a shot like this, I'm using warp stabilizer on an 85mm prime lens because of the shake, but extra 6K resolution gives me so much more latitude to preserve resolution. But for this shot, I've set the camera on a ledge to really see how far I can push the resolution at 200% crop of the exact same footage, no changed focal length, and now 400%, which gives me some options in post for cropping. And here I'm just exploring depth of field, but we're gonna move off the High Line downtown to the Flatiron Building, and here is a 85 millimeter shot, but it's gonna go next to the in-camera time-lapse function that takes us to one frame per second. And we're doing the same with the 12 millimeter wide shot of the Flatiron Building, and then showing the one frame per second in-camera time-lapse. But the next shot is going to show the 120 frames per second windowed mode, which reduces the resolution to be able to pull it off. But here I am cropping in so that I go 200% and then to go full filling the image into the 6K sequence spec. We'll see that again in Grand Central Terminal. But on the way there at the public library, this is an example of Warp Stabilizer's no motion mode, which I'm using the 6K resolution to really get that latitude out of it. But back to handheld, no warp. I'm trying my best to hold this somewhat difficult form factor steady. And you can see these ultra wide shots leading into the terminal itself where I've set it on a ledge. And what we're gonna see next is again, the in-camera time-lapse function. There's no crop, it's at the full 6K resolution, but it's doing this in-camera. But next you're seeing a 85 millimeter prime shot, this shot that's gonna set us up for yet another one of these windowed slow motion modes. So again, this is at a reduced resolution, but what I like about this is that it's not 1920 HD, it's 2868 horizontal resolution, which is a bit more than what the Pocket 4K gave us. Here in Times Square, there's no room for a tripod. Another great example of Adobe Warp Stabilizer's no motion mode with 6K resolution giving me extra latitude to preserve image quality. Here at South Street Seaport, we're going to make our way up the East River. It's a good spot to mention that I'm doing color work using Autochroma's B-RAW Studio plugin inside of Adobe Premiere, but I'm not using uh, Lumetri Color, I'm not using any plugins. I'm simply uh, making adjustments to exposure and white balance at the B-RAW, the Blackmagic RAW metadata level. That gives us the most accurate and faithful representation of what this camera can do, and that's the whole point of RAW formats, right? that after the fact you think you nailed exposure and white balance but you never quite can do it and you always have to tinker with it in post and the whole point of RAW is that you can do so without damaging the image quality too much. Um, we're making our way across from Roosevelt Island on the tramway to Midtown but in doing so another thing to mention about sound is that all the sound you hear in these clips are using the internal four microphone array of the 6K which has inherited the same quality as the 4K's microphones a significant improvement over the pocket HD original um, audio quality, which left a lot to be desired. 
so we've made our way to Central Park where there's all kinds of detail, the little leaves in the background and all of these things that sort of beg the question, is 6K really for us or is it debatable? I don't even think it's debatable anymore. We're all heading in the direction of upgrading our resolution. And even if your target output is not 6K, I mean, who projects in 6K, who has a 6K TV? That's really not the issue. The additional clarity and detail that the sensor captures at 6K, even when you downscale it, is just going to give you so much more detail and latitude and post. So this was a lot of fun. Um, please read the article that's associated with this at focuspolling.com that's linked here in the cards and in the caption below. And look forward to the next time.